Okay, so today we're covering Wild Boys, and what Wild Boys is is basically, what? um, it's like a documentary, a nature documentary show in the 2000s with the guys from Jackass, and so, uh, let's Did just watch it. Did they try to make that, wait, wait, wait. It's Who like YouTube it? before YouTube, hmm? Wild Boys is a show? MTV made Wild Boys, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Does, did they, they make that tiger smile? I don't know. Let's let's get to it, though. My name is Manny Puig, and on the Wild Boys, it is my job to introduce them to dangerous predators. On Wild Boys, someone will write an idea, and it's just based on a guess that this animal will do this. Why is he dressed We're not trying like to kill that? the guys, but we're trying to get great footage, and you don't know what's going to happen. Is a lot Steve-o? of times, the experts don't know what's going to happen. They just said, oh, we'll try it. God. It takes one bite. Oh my god. <laughs> Manny has frequently saved my life from danger that he <laughs> put my life in. <laughs> Steve Having Manny around just gives you footage. I'll tell you that right now. Manny <laughs> will put you in the most dangerous He's situation. And yet the guys and myself feel safe for some reason because we have Tarzan with us. Tiger. Tiger. The reason I'm on these extra sketchy stilts is because I'm studying the giraffe and hoping to make out with him. All right, well, I'm going to study the undercarriage while you make out with him. These photographs, I'll be able to take it back to my lab and study it properly. The Wild Boys are a team of adventurers, cultural anthropologists, in my idea, hmm. and sex symbols above all. <gasps> Romance is in the air on a cold, dark, crisp winter's morning in Tasmania. But now it's time to learn about some of the birds that are naive to Australia. Here we have perhaps the most naive of them all, the kookaburra. I think I'll go in for a closer look. Mm, good. The ingredients that Steve-O and Chris Bonias have that makes them so special is they're a special breed of scientists. They're lacking a little bit of sense. These insects are called African emperor scorpions. And now they're gonna sting my butt. How does my approach to animals differ for Steve-O? I guess I seem to get bit in the face more often, and he seems to get bit in the butt. <laughs> so I guess you could say I'm more oral and he's more anal. <laughs> when, he got, when he got nailed on the nose by the snapping turtle, I just felt so behind him. steve is clearly more afraid of everything out there than Chris. That's just a basic. Oh, 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 God, he's ripping me open, dude. Oh, he doesn't seem to like to be head. around big cats. <laughs> I'm not saying he won't be around big cats, because he will. But he doesn't really like it. I don't know what Chris is doing, man. I was actually joking about sneaking up on it, but Chris is really going to do it. Steve-O has no <laughs> instincts for working with animals, which is, no <laughs> which is great. Uh, animals actually pick up on fear, and, they, and uh, there's like an electricity. When you're scared of something, that triggers a lot of behavior in animals, and they'll just come right after you. Here in Louisiana, it seems the only way to relax is in a hot tub full of swamp water and alligators. In the alligator hot tub, I was watching Manny putting these alligators in, and I was looking at the alligators and thinking, that's oh. probably too big to really take a conscious bite from. It was like a four foot, four and a half foot alligator. I told the guys, be careful with your testicles and penises when all these alligators are swimming in the hot tub because you couldn't see through the water, so they have no idea where the alligators are. I told them, just sit still and don't move. Manny's kind of like a dad to me, you know, like he really wants the best for me. And it's funny though, because the best for me involves a lot of pretty gnarly stuff with dangerous animals. I wasn't too nervous when Steve was gonna get his ass bit. Uh, I knew it was going to hurt, I knew it was going to bleed, uh, but uh, Steve will be a professional. I knew he could handle the pain and the lacerations that were headed his way. Ow! 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 God damn it, you big. bastard! Get him off! Let him go, let him go, let him go. Ow! When that thing was clamped on, it just, when you were watching that footage, it felt like an hour. Yeah. Like, I saw it sort of twist, I thought it was going to just take the whole cheek off. But, uh, yeah. Turned out it was not too big a deal. I'm sure it hurt. 
alligator did uh, a shake and a twist on his butt. Um, the worst thing that could have happened is a whole chunk of meat was going to come off his butt. Ew. And they were going to have to do, like, you know, some massive surgery to shut the hole up, you know, you but uh, he would survive. Mouth. steve was a little shooken up right now. Dude, I thought that you guys were going to be caught. He was, he was holding it. I know, but you just took the bus. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pass, steve <laughs> 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 we had an idea. Let's do everything wrong in camping and try to attract black oh, bears. Oh no! One thing you gotta remember with bears is that you never want to leave food in or around the tent. <laughs> At least not outside of the cooler. They started eating food and throwing it in the tent. And black bears like sweet things, like candy bars and cookies. But I don't. <laughs> I decided to lay down in the tent and uh... Sure enough, the bear comes up and it wants to go in the tent. He starts sniffing around. In the middle and, uh, of the day? There's two guys in sleeping bags. He's standing on them. And he's looking at the food and then he starts just like sniffing the guys and takes a little investigative bite. Maybe they brought in a small bear. He was just checking skin. what was in. Yeah, you know, there was something under the sleep <laughs> And it was me. Look at the wild boys come to He's like, is this a giant candy? Hell no. We're going to do it with the whole crew and the town. Yeah! I'm pretty brave with all animals, but I am fucking terrified of bulls. The whole <laughs> town comes out. They rip some branches off some trees and stick them in the ground and make this haggard bull ring. They bring in the bulls. They couldn't even get the bulls into the bull ring. It's just like mayhem in the streets and people are getting annihilated. It's not like an animal. It's an animal in the sense that it Maybe has a heart Maybe his natural instinct brain, is just to stay one. away from them. And that's and an angry the one. right natural instinct. But just, yeah. they don't work like the way other animals do. We had just thought that these people knew what they were doing. <laughs> then we get in the ring and <sighs> they didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> Ooh. The bull run just runs through the streets and then oh, they round cute. up the bull and drag it into this ring. This just makeshift little bull ring where everyone is just tormenting the bull. And this kid just got smoked by the bull. Oh! Ooh! Oh, it was <gasps> just so hairy to see that. At that point, I just I looked over at Dimitri. I'm like, no, man, this is done. Get out, dude, get out, get out. We thought we were going to like a fun loving yearly celebration with the, the bull town and you know we we thought we watched someone get killed damn we're at this beach in argentina and this particular spot it gets deep extremely quick right at the shoreline so this pot of orcas there has figured out that they can grab seals right off the beach first day steve o was with them and the weather just didn't permit the whales to come up and kill the seals but the next day um we just said, all right, we'll take a limited crew there and I'll take Steve-O off and we'll go try to film something else. And sure enough, it happened. Come on. Oh, what the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude. It is just thrashing it. Have you never seen National Geographic? I know, but to see it in real life... Oh. Entertainment. The whole reason, you know, we picked Argentina to shoot I missed, and I'm pissed about it because mm. I really wanted to see some seals get their heads bit off. It's Who weird. It's it sad on one hand. The other baby crew. seals are getting eaten, but then on one hand, it's rad <laughs> because the baby seals are getting eaten. <laughs> some people have been waiting now for seven to eight to ten days. Scientists in little foxholes on the beach waiting for this to happen, and we showed well, they up. They were next and to the national. It happened Geographic on the group. second day we were there. I seriously think. Mother Nature has made us her mouthpiece because like most nature shows like they have they spend years like waiting to get this footage and we'll show up these places that we have one day to get it and we'll get it like some natural <laughs> phenomenon. We're just there. He's so happy. I don't know why she chose us, but she did. <laughs> Chocolate bars and tents. There's danger. There's gross. Uh, there's gross. Everything they do I find incredibly hilarious and the nasty stuff they do is just uh, I have to go like this when I'm behind camera, cover my mouth just to keep from bursting out in laughter every time they're doing something. Uh... Chris, what's that called? It's called a kudu. What is that, Siva? It's kudu doo doo. The poop. <laughs> ah, it's so fresh and stick. <laughs> <laughs> totally wet, dude. <laughs> when animals yeah, die, it is 
one of the most important things you could study because if an animal doesn't eat, it's probably gonna die. So, you gotta study the poop. So these are actual turds, huh? Fresh turds. <laughs> That's right, they are turds. So what we're gonna do is a very special sport, a bush sport called bok drol spook. Buck turd spitting. <laughs> very few scientists that are willing to go to the extreme to taste the poo of certain animals to find out what their diet is about. All in the, in the name of uh, When you don't have a lab. Right off the bat, dude. I'm going to go for the automatic machine gun. <laughs> no, all of them. Why all of them? Why not just one? Oh, just <laughs> I mean, I was a fanatic of Three Stooges, but this is so much better. You know, it's... <sighs> Danger, like uh, it's my element in, involved in it. It's Discovery Channel, National Geographic's, Three Stooges, Beavis and Butthead. It's just everything combined in one to create a, a most awesome episodes ever. There's definitely a serious side to Wild Boys insofar as like taking people seriously and not disrespecting them, you know? Like we want to be outrageous and, you know, make people laugh, but it's always been important to us to respect people. Of course, traveling the world, I picked up, you know, a lot from the cultures that I met along the way. What is he wearing? I mean, look at me. I mean, I'm like, like uh, <laughs> hey, look at me. I can't believe that we're all like such a bunch of idiots and we get to do the coolest stuff in the world. That's why we made up this show. So are we, are we really that big of idiots? <gasps> Nobody's wilder than the wild boys. But the truth is, we love animals and we would never hurt one. And please, don't try the things you see on this show at home. <laughs> oh, man, that show. <coughs> that show is so funny. Uh, you guys should check it out if you could find it. I don't know where it's at. Um, wow. <laughs> I've never seen it before. Oh, man. I watch it now. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, Steve-O, so glad to see him doing better. I can learn uh, about human physiology and physics all at once. <laughs> just watching them. Uh, all right, guys. If you like that, uh, if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. And if uh, don't forget to smoke your coronavirus prevention infection medicine. And if you don't have buds, we're your buds. See you next time. <laughs>